For most medical students, anatomy is a nightmare and it is a subject everybody hates. But did you know, anatomy is a major subject in USMLE Step 1 and it can make or break your Step 1 score based on how well you perform in the anatomy portion. The big anatomy books used in our medical colleges do not cover the most important topics for Step 1's anatomy. This is everything medical and in this video we are going to discuss how to study anatomy for Step 1. Before we move on, can you quickly hit the subscribe button? It will help me a lot. Regarding anatomy, there is a good news for you. Only clinically relevant anatomy is important for the USMLE. In other words, if a certain anatomical fact does not have a clinical context, it's not very high yield for step 1. For example, no anterior or posterior relations of organs. They're not gonna ask you what lies posterior to the liver or lateral to the pancreas. Similarly, no dissection planes, anatomical or surgical spaces. So you don't need to know the plane in which abdominal surgery is performed. Similarly, no random canal and ligaments. So no more things like ligament of trades, forciform ligament, etc. And finally, no origin insertion of muscles, like nobody is going to ask you where the origin of extensor carpi radialis longus is, you get my point. However, USMLE does emphasize heavily on clinically relevant stuff, for example, common fractures and injuries. So you must know what a housemaid's knee is, or what happens when you have an athlete try it. Similarly, nerve supplies or injuries are super important, for example, what kind of hand shape is seen in a median nerve injury? And ligament tears, for example, when your hamstring ruptures. Also, pathology related anatomy, for example, the x ray picture of the skull in multiple myeloma, what's the presentation? All of this is super important for step one, and you need to be prepared for this. The most important material in order to master anatomy for step one is USMLE first aid. This is called the Bible of Step 1 and you cannot pass Step 1 without it. If you don't already have this book, think of this as the day 1 of your USMLE journey and buy first aid right now. I have the links to buy it in the description. For most students, the first aid covers almost 70% of anatomy. But if you want to cover the rest of 30% and get a high score on Step 1, you need one more resource for anatomy. The book that I highly recommend for Step 1's anatomy is called High Yield Anatomy. If you fear anatomy, this book is perfect for you because it is compact and to the point. High Yield Anatomy covers almost all the important anatomy subtopics for Step 1 and it is recommended by the test takers who got great scores. I highly recommend getting this book if you're looking for super high score. Link to official stores is in the description. But if you're like me who was so bad at anatomy in my medical college that I was scared of big anatomy words like flexor carpi ulnaris and you want something for anatomy that's simpler to read, I highly recommend Kaplan's anatomy lecture notes. Why? Because Kaplan's anatomy lecture notes are written in very simple language that is easy to understand for people like me who did not pay attention to anatomy during their college life. The simple language makes Kaplan lecture notes very easy to memorize. So if your base knowledge for anatomy is poor like me, I highly recommend getting uh, Kaplan's anatomy notes and I promise it will get you your desired level of anatomy mastery. In fact, it's not just anatomy, I used Kaplan lecture notes for these 7 subjects and they worked great for me. These subjects included anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and genetics, ethics, biostat, microbiology, immunology and pharmacology. I suggest you get the whole Kaplan lecture note set if you want to start step 1 preparation from scratch. Links to the official stores are in the description box. To summarize how to read anatomy for step 1, the book you must have for step 1 is USMLE first aid. The advanced book to maximize your score, High Yield Anatomy. And for people like me who want a book with simpler language, I recommend Kaplan Anatomy Lecture Notes. And finally, in your dedicated period, you need to start UWorld for anatomy. If you want to read my Step 1 or CK experience, check out my videos on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I will post more about Step 1 preparation. That's it guys and I'll see you in the next video.